any good smoky eye begins with a good base for instance when you do a brown smoky eye you layer down a brown pencil when you do a black smoky eye you will layer down a layer of kajal something that is creamy that has pigment in it in a similar manner we're going to be using a pink or a purple base underneath this so i know that it's not very common to invest or buy a pink eye pencil or a pink eye base so here is a good hack i'm going to be using this lipstick from l'oreal this is in the shade i choose and i'm actually going to take this out on a plate on the same plate i'm going to take out a little bit of concealer so using a shader brush like this i'm just going to combine these two together now i'm going to place this onto my lid you must have seen a lot of people directly using a lipstick i would say don't do that mixing it in with a concealer gives you a little bit more room to play with in the sense that a liquid lipstick is going to dry immediately with the concealer you have some time to shape the eye and just blend it a little bit better i'm going to go into this shade from the amethyst obsession palette from huda beauty and i'm taking this on a fluffy blending brush so go right here and i'm going to go right into the crease now since the base is wet we haven't set it so we want to use dabbing motions do not sponge this like this don't use windshield wiper motions or it's going to go all over the place softly using dabbing motions set at least the crease area of the eye if you have a habit of going overboard with the color right in the crease pick up your compact with the same brush begin from very beneath the brow and work it downwards this is going to give you a beautiful ombre effect now once all of this is done we want to start deepening up the eye and adding a little bit more structure you want to shift to a brush like this this is the lakara s015 it is fluffy but it is also tapered at the end and it's also flat using this shade i'm going to pick up this shade i'm going to start applying this on the outer corner and very close to the lower lash line we used this shade earlier as well in the crease but you can see by switching the brush the pigmentation also differs and i'm going to blend it slightly inwards go back to the original blending brush and just use dabbing motions to blend this in place now using the fluffy tapered brush from beautylicious this is BLE328 I'm going to go into this shade right here again picking it up on the tip I'm going to begin by placing this into the crease and on the very outer corner you basically create a C type of shape that starts from the second half of your lower lash line goes upwards into the socket and goes right into the crease. now with the deeper shade I do like to bring it all the way to the front. I'll tell you why a little later. I'm going to be using the three shades in the center of this palette. Why? Because this adds a lot more dimension than simply adding one shimmer shade. And I'm going to show you how to do it in the easiest manner possible. I want to use a pencil brush for this. And you want to begin by the lightest shade. I'm going to pick this up. This is also going to act like my inner corner highlight. Now with the pencil brush I want you to press the shade on all right slowly press this on into the desired shape of your eye now at this point I'm going to use the reference of the dark purple that I got all the way to the front of the eye I use it to actually guide the placement of the shimmer shadows now I'm going to go into this shade Now this shade is the closest shade in the palette to the deepest color that I used for the eye. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to place it just above where the darkest shade blends into nothing. It will give you an added blend and shimmer shades are always and always more forgiving than matte shades. To merge these two shades together, I'm going to be using this shade right here. This is sort of like a duochrome so it does a lot of wonders and it adds so many dimensions to a very basic and simple eye look. And using the fluffy pencil brush I'm going to pick up the darkest shade. 
after dusting off most of the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go just above the shimmer shades. This adds a lot more contrast and it makes your shimmer shades pop a lot. Pick up two shades that you used in your crease. I'm gonna use this one and this one. I'm gonna first go in with this and I'm using a fluffy pencil brush for this. Look up and go right between your lashes, all right? Use a very small flat brush, pick up the darkest shade onto the very tip of this. Again, you want to look up and place this literally between your lashes, alright? You want to place this between your lashes. Pick up a pencil brush and the powder highlight that you use on the inner corner and take it towards the lower waterline. An eye that is slightly darker, the one thing that I really like and love doing is going in with a white pencil on my lower waterline. And yeah, that is it. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. I upload Monday, Wednesday and Friday with educational makeup content. Check out this video right here and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.